Let's see if we can use our existing factoring skills to factor 30x squared plus 11xy plus y squared. And I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can handle it yourself. Now the first hint I will give you, and this might kind of open up what's going on here, is to maybe rearrange this a little bit. We could rewrite this as y squared plus 11xy plus 30x squared. And my whole motivation for doing that, it, there are ways to factor an ex, uh, a quadratic where your first coefficient, your coefficient on this first term is something other than one, but we haven't seen that yet. And so rearranging it this way, this kind of got us a little bit more into our comfort zone. Now our coefficient is a one on the y squared term. So now we can start to think of our think think of this in in the same form that we've looked at some of the other factoring problems. Can we think of two numbers whose product is 30? x squared and whose sum whose sum is 11x notice 11x is the coefficient on y we have y squared some coefficient on y and then in terms of y some you know this isn't in any way dependent on y so if you knew if you one way to think about this if you knew what x was then this would be a quadratic in terms of y and that's how we're really thinking about it here so can we find two numbers whose product is 30x squared and two numbers whose sum is the coefficient on this y term right here, whose sum is 11x. So let's just think about all of the different possibilities. If we were just thinking about two numbers whose product was 30 and whose sum was 11, we would be thinking of five and six. Five times six is 30, five plus six is 11. It's some trial and error, you could have tried three and 10, well that would have been 13 would be their sum, you could have tried two and 15, that wouldn't have worked. Uh, you could, you could, but five and six does work here. So we've already seen that multiple times. So five and six, five and six would work for 30, but we have, we have 30x squared. So what if we have 5x and 6x? Well, 5x times 6x is 30x squared, and 5x plus 6x is 11x. So this actually works. So then our our factoring or our, our factorization of this expression is just going to be y plus 5x, y plus 5x times y plus 6x, y plus 6x. And I'll leave it up to you to verify that this does indeed, when you multiply it out, equal this up here. 